Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel, you guys. We have Michelle joining us today for our Hello. favorite meal. Mm -hmm. This is spring rolls! Yay. We haven't done this in like, I think, two months. And we used to do it every single weekend when Michelle was here. Um, but we haven't done this in two months, so we're really excited. We have lettuce, uh, fresh uh, fish mint, Vietnamese fish mint, and then we have um, cilantro. Oh my god, I'm blanking. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Um, and then we have shrimp and um, rice paper. And then we have my green sauce here. And to drink, we're doing Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Bon appetitis. Bon appetitis. So excited. Michelle has the water container over here for the rice paper. So I'm just going to have to chillax while I wait for mine. I'm going to have to move mine over. I'm so excited. Excuse me, Mom. I'm going to grab... Mm -hmm. The double? Yes, please. The bunny questions. I love how you have them, like right here, right there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I haven't had your sauce in forever. Uh, today it's not my best. Yeah, but it's always good. Because I haven't made it in a while, and it's not my best today, friends. But it's still pretty good. Also, the Eagles are playing today, so I had to represent by wearing the Christmas Eagles crew neck that I made. Because <laughs> my husband wanted to wear something for Christmas, and I was like, I'm going to go on Photoshop and put a Santa hat on the Christmas, or the Philadelphia Eagles head. Isn't this so cute? I just had a company make it for me on Etsy. You should do one for Halloween. <gasps> I, I don't know do how or what you would do, but... Yeah, I'll figure it out. That'd be cute. Yeah, I just make these for my husband because he likes the Philadelphia Eagles. Actually, he doesn't like the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, he, he breathes it. If you could legally marry an NFL team, he would do that. <laughs> Definitely. It's the Philadelphia Eagles, the dogs, and then me. <laughs> no, I'm just telling the truth. That's how it is. Because for me, it's everything else, my dogs. <laughs> oh, are you ready? Yeah. Ah, so excited. No, oh, actually, I'm going to pour my drink. But go ahead, Mom. Oh, are these doubled, Mom? Yes. Oh, thanks, Mom. Yeah. Did you make one for yourself? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Go ahead. If you guys have watched our spring roll videos, you're not surprised. You know everything. But if you are new, welcome. Um, these are really cool. You get them at the Asian store. If you go to, like, a Vietnamese market, you definitely will find them in, like, the home section. But they're really cool because they're these little drying racks for your rice paper because your rice paper after it gets a little damp it will soften up and get sticky and that's when you start rolling so you want to prep it as you eat go ahead go ahead go ahead what are we doing threes twos always start with threes mom threes always start with threes and then for the vegetables inside you can do whatever you guys want so we do so uh we do cilantro we do cucumbers sometimes we do bean sprouts. Um, you can also put vermicelli noodles in here. And for protein, today we have shrimp, but sometimes we'll do pork belly. You can mm -hmm. do chicken, steak, anything. Fish, sometimes I do fish with my family. I love the fish mint. Fish mint's my favorite. It's minty. It also smells like Riley. What? You don't smell Riley? Oh my God. You just ruined it for me. <laughs> no, Riley in a good way. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, Riley in a good way. I'm gonna keep these here. I love fish mint. It tastes like mint. It really does. But it's such a... It's kind of sour. Yeah? I don't know how to explain it. It's your, It's my favorite green since I was little. Mom, you like every green since I you know, were little. I know. Yeah. We're doing three, right, Mom? Yes. Oh, when? I say we enjoy it, honey. Okay, okay. I miss rolling every weekend together. I know. That's all we did when you first moved. Yeah, all we did was roll. That was good, though. Can you guys see us roll? I don't just roll. I make bombs. Oh, she makes atomic yeah. bombs. <laughs> I'm going to roll on the side. And this is so fun to, like... Sit with your friends and family, mm -hmm. roll, talk about cheese may. And instead of my green sauce, you can make peanut sauce too. Carlos likes the peanut sauce. Look, Mom. Hmm? 
Nice. Thank you. And Michelle's doing it right. So before she eats, you always want to soak the next pair. So after you're done eating, you're ready to roll. Oh, the glass is mm -hmm. Do you want to put that in the middle? No. Okay. I have a C stump. C stump. Okay. Maybe I'll pull out. Oh, I'm going to copy you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you smart girl. You smart. Okay, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, titties. Sorry, titties. Oh, <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> How long has it been though? I don't know, but mom. Hmm. The sauce is good. You like the sauce? Too? Yeah, you did good. I don't know why. I felt like I was losing my touch. Mm mm. You but fixed it though. You like it? Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, that shrimp is good. It's so good, you guys. My mom grows this in the garden. What does your mom not grow? Right, right, right. Of course, yeah. But yeah, mom grows this in the garden, and oh my god, you guys. I love rolling because I love veggies. Mm -mm. Did you do one or two or three? I did three okay. again. I thought we could enjoy. Okay. I follow whatever you're doing. Whatever you do, I do. Do you like my singing? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be thick, like girthy. I hate the spine. You always say that. Like, you're really ruining the vibe for me. Okay. Last night, Michelle Carlos and I watched the 90 Day Fiance Tell All. Tell, tell, tell It All or Tell All or something? I thought it was Tell All. It's so good. I'm kinda sad it's over. I know, but I can't believe we have to wait for freaking part two. I they know. Would. Sunday. But we have to watch it separately or you want me to wait for you? No, go ahead. You're going to watch it too, right? Yeah. You think I'd be good at rolling a blunt? Because I'm really like detailed with my hands. Hey, if you guys roll blunts, do you think I'd be good? <laughs> <laughs> blunts are tiny though, mom. Oh, these little suckers? Oh, maybe. Yeah. I'll bring you some. Whoa, really? <laughs> oh, you're kidding? You got me all you excited. Want to? Did My you want God, to? I'm gonna do a little rolling blood mama. <laughs> no, because it makes your fingers all smelly. Uh uh, no, yeah. no. I don't know if I can do it with gloves. <laughs> burning question, ready? Oh my God. These are the burning questions. Okay. What is the weirdest thing about you? Mmm. I think it's easier if I answer this about you. Oh, I got cilantro on my teeth. Mm -hmm. Which one, baby girl? I got you. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> my legs are like I can't believe you guys didn't tell me it has cilantro on my teeth. <laughs> I think it's easier if I answer this about you and you okay. answer about me. I agree. The weirdest thing about Michelle. Um, it's not really weird because you're not like you don't have anything that's so weird that I'm just like what is wrong with you but she does this thing where like her toes can't touch the floor when she walks because she's a germaphobe and she doesn't like when dust she can allegedly feel dust through her skin and so when she walks her toes like go up and she'll never let them settle down <laughs> and then she always has to like do this because she thinks like magically germs will just fall off her hands because again she's a germaphobe <laughs> yeah, that's probably the weirdest yeah, thing about me. That is the weirdest thing about you. Give me a question. Oh. Burning question about Kim Thai. What's your favorite hobby? That's stupid. Nobody wants to know about that. Well, you want to answer what's the weirdest thing about oh, you? Oh, yeah. We don't have hobbies. Weirdest thing about you? I can. 
Little. <laughs> That's my new thing. That's my hobby. Weird is seeing. Oh, mom, I'm weird. You can think of stuff. No. You're not weird. Hmm. It's the weirdest thing about you. So many, I can't really categorize. Um. Nothing's that weird. Oh my god. I'm we definitely know something. We just can't think of it. No, hold on. Okay, you think about that. Yeah, let me think about that. Weirdest thing about you. Mmm. Mom, there definitely is something. Cause there, I know. There have been so many um, times where you're like, oh my god, dude, you're so fucking weird. What's something I, I do that people don't know? Do you like sing? That's not weird. No. <laughs> like belt it out not knowing a single word. If a genie granted you three wishes right now, what would you wish for? Oh, that's a good question. Right now? Right now, in this moment. Like, he just appeared right now in my hallway. I mean, money for sure. Be specific, Mom. Oh, Everybody Like, wants. success. Financially. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Um. So, money? Yeah, money. A home, like a house. Mm hmm For my parents. Stop it. I would buy your parents a house too. Mm. I love Oma and Opa. You know, I don't really think of this often, so I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Mine would be. I pray to maintain financial stability. Um. The thing. Mm hmm You know mm -hmm. that thing. Hopefully next year. <laughs> mm hmm That thing is big. That thing would be first. I would put that over the the stability one. And then my third thing would just honestly just be good health for friends and family. That's a good one. Yeah, and my dogs. Mm hmm And clump. Mm-hmm. What? Sorry. Is what you're doing now what you always wanted to do growing up? Yes. Oh, yeah. It was your dream. Yeah. I, I always forgot. wanted to be a YouTuber. And here she is. And here I am. Being a YouTuber. Hello, I'm a YouTuber. Follow your dreams. Mm hmm. Um, mine? Mm hmm. Actually, no. Never thought I'd be a YouTuber. Tried it like. I think when YouTube was a thing in ninth grade when Michelle Fawn was doing makeup tutorials, mm -hmm. I remember I was on my Dell, Dell computer. I had the Dell computer where you could like flip the screen vertically. You know at the Wells Fargo they Dang, had that? you're oh, a no, no. fancy one. <laughs> After I had the broken laptop with the keyboard though. Oh. <laughs> Don't get twisted, right? I see. I see. Um, but Sorry. I remember my cousin got me a webcam for Christmas. And it was one of those like round webcams that you would clip onto the computer and you would have to like USB it, connect it to the screen. Damn. <laughs> and this is 2009. You and guys. now we have internet on our phones. Isn't it like, crazy? It's weird. You can check maps. Like, you know how scared I was to press on the internet button on, oh. on my flip phone? Do you know how scared I was? I had limited texting and I found it was 500, but it was 500 total. So like there and back. Like what bullshit is that? Yeah. I thought it was 500 for me. I gave my mom a PowerPoint about why unlimited texting. You know I still have it. I'm going to look at my messages. I'm going to show it. you. I gave a whole PowerPoint on why limited, unlimited texting was like very beneficial. And did it work? Well, clearly because I got unlimited oh, texting. Oh, good, good, good. I, I've always been a good sales marketing person. <laughs> it runs through my blood. It's more like <laughs> she will never stop talking about it. That You just have to do you it. You just have to do it. But I remember, okay, so my cousin got me a webcam, and it was 2009, and I had just seen Michelle Vaughn do makeup tutorials on YouTube, and I remember making one, editing it myself on the program that came with Dell. Really? And then my best friend, Brooke, made fun of me, 
and I never uploaded it onto YouTube. So I don't know if it was a blessing or a cur or like a bad thing that she like did. <laughs> She was, she made fun she of me. She told you not to? Yes. No, she didn't tell me. She, obviously, you're, you're, you just you got know. embarrassed. Yes. And then it was. So then that never made it onto YouTube. And then I just decided to do YouTube when I was, you know, in the middle of figuring out my life in my 20s. Oh, how funny. Yeah, so that's how So what now. did you want to be then? Mm. I genuinely did want to be, um. Like a doctor, like in the medical field. Oh wow! But it got realistic as I got older. Yeah. Because I feel like you either have it or you don't. Yeah. It's a lot of work in the medical field. You it's have to love it. Talent. Mm -hmm. You have to be good at it. You have to want it. You have to really, you know. But I also wonder, like, I think I genuinely just wanted to do something where, like, I help people, and maybe my traditional mindset. Yes thought that I had it to be a nurse or a doctor or whatever. Because what's more helpful helpful than the medical field? Yeah, so then when I took a different route, you know, doing videos, let's be honest, I never thought this would be a job, so. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. I totally thought that I was gonna be a nurse, though. Mm-hmm. I did. And then I got to the educational part. Mm. And I was like, that's not me. I love being in, like, I volunteered for a very long time. Mm hmm And I love being in the atmosphere. Yeah. I just couldn't do the education part. Same. Yeah. I love the environment, though. I knew I could not be, because we met in our nursing uh, courses. Mm hmm I don't know if you guys know that, but I knew I couldn't be it when I was like, oh, my God, you're responsible for a human being. Like, I, I no. I she gets weird even like driving people around. Mm, I can't drive people around for Yeah. Dog. By the yeah. way, mom, you have uh pepper mm. uh, salt there. Thanks, mom. Excuse me. Let's see. Mm. Mm. What's the most embarrassing thing you've done? The most embarrassing thing I've done for a friend? For a friend? I know my answer. What's yours? You know, last year, you and me. Last year. In my bedroom. Um, <laughs> um, We're not gonna share that on the internet. Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably it. It wasn't even embarrassing. I would do it for you any day. No, and we talk about it all the time. And I'm it's, glad you did it for me too, because I was really cool. curious what it, you know. You're fucking <laughs> I wish we could talk about the story, because <laughs> it's just fucking weird. Well, we will talk about it one day, because I think it's really funny. Oh yeah, one but, day. But, Shit, I'll even tell you how it happened. Like, I really, but one day. <laughs> one day we will tell you the story of what we had to do for each other. Oh my god. Michelle had no choice. I was curious. I needed it to be done. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> Mine was serious. She just wanted to try it because she was like, oh shit. They're like, you guys are going to be so mad. We're not going to tell you. I know. But we promise we Use will tell you. Use your imagination. We promise we will tell you. <laughs> one day. That's when I knew we were friends, man. Oh yeah. Was there a moment that you knew we were gonna be like friends forever? Like you're like, I'm not getting rid of this bitch. I asked Carlos this the other day, cause I was like, was there a moment where you knew that I was the one? Mm. There wasn't an exact moment. I forgot what he said. I'm gonna be honest, the beginning of our friendship was rough. Yeah, so I really, so young. I really didn't know and I kept being like, I don't think it's gonna. You know, to be honest, I always knew. You did? Yes, even at the beginning. Because we you were, were the problem. I was not the fucking problem. Did you want to start? <laughs> I was not. You had issues too. <laughs> you know? My issues were personal. They had nothing to do with you. But your personal. You were a bully. No. You were a bully. Your personal <laughs> issues made, came into no. our friendship. No. And I had an issue with that. Like you needed to. That's the problem. Like you needed to face no. your issues. No. Admit that you're wrong right now. No. No, because I was going through something. <laughs> okay. But she was always in a different stage, so it was very hard. You guys, I will say it's really hard in your 20s. It is. It's though. so hard, and that's where friendships make it or break it. Because we met right when I turned 20. You were 19? She, yeah, and you were 20, so it was a lot. Yeah, it was really And she was, like, she also took that step, um, 
like creating your dream mm -hmm. and I was all the way back there and I was like I don't know what to do and she's like just do something and I was like do what yeah so it was really hard to see eye to eye we did you guys we look good now because we look, we look good but yeah <laughs> like we our friendship looks great now but it was when, like 10 years ago it's been a decade yeah 10 years ago when Michelle was 19 and I was 20 and we just started being friends you guys, we could not agree on anything. No. We were fighting all the time. Now that I look at over the dumbest shit ever. We were like toxic where we, when we had a ball, we had a fucking ball. But like, that's how you know that like you love someone and they're important. Yeah. Is that you're, we, you have to understand how the other person feels. And there came a moment where it was like, I had to put your emotions before mine so I could understand mm -hmm you know, where we were, you were coming from. Because mm -hmm. for a while it was like, I felt like I was fighting you and not looking at the, the problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you have to Cause she was to like, that. Cause she was like, she would just have the best, you just had the best interest for me. Because you yeah. were like, I can see what you can do. Just do it. Yeah. And she was trying to be there for me. And I was like, no, like I'm stuck. I'm in a shell. So how frustrating it is, it, is it? So then it turns into, okay, well, you suck. <laughs> yeah, like just because you have your life together or just because it's working for you doesn't mean, it, and then it just. Yes. But we were always fighting each other instead of like working together. We really but, fought like sisters. But it does take age and time. Oh, yeah and maturity to like understand that in life you I know? agree I agree and it happens to the most of us like all friends you get to a point where you, and this goes with like friendship and relationship mm -hmm. you get to a point where you pick and choose your battles like there has to come a point in like there came a point in Carlos and I's relationship where we're just like this is stupid like yeah this, it takes a lot of energy to fight mm -hmm. and like argue mm -hmm. you know I think it's communication's key, and that's what yeah. we didn't have. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. But I know. I never questioned our friendship, but no, I understand I what never you questioned did. it in a, like, I definitely, no, I'm just kidding. I take it back. I questioned it. Yeah. But I always knew, like, a part of me was just like, but she's so, like, she's my person. It feels so comfortable. Mm -hmm. Why can't it just work? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like it's just not working. We actually took like a break from each other for a little. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I think that rekindle, I knew there was nothing. Like, there was no doubt in my body. Hey. I know. She cries easily these days. Ever since I started getting closer to 30, I cry easily, yo. I don't like it, right? Like, it's making me feel weak. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there was a moment where I knew you were my best friend. There definitely is. Oh, it's okay. We don't have to talk. <laughs> Mom, why do I cry so much these days? It's not me. You just grow older and... No, I'm not old. This You're not old. Sexy, man. You're not old. 30s are our prime. Yeah, and I'm crying way too much. Or is 40 your prime? I saw a video from someone in her 80s. And she said that your 30s are like your time to just like enjoy life mm -hmm. and just route out what you want and then your 40s and 50s allegedly is where we're flying high really? you're like you're enjoying life in your 40s because you set yourself up in your 30s yes okay yeah so the 20s are all fun and games i hate 20s <laughs> i would never redo it really especially the last like five years of my 20s that's mm. bull now i enjoy it mm. now i enjoy it there was a moment where it was bad. I feel like you are in a better space this year. Mm-hmm. For sure. I agree. I think... Uh, I'm sorry if I start crying. <laughs> I think I knew that you were, like, the one for me. Michelle's really loyal. And I don't... Like, I can't explain it to you guys until you experience this type of loyal. You're a very loyal friend, Mom. That is one thing I'm very confident you about. You are very loyal. Super loyal. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, sometimes can be bad, but I am very loyal. You learned, though. Yeah. So I think my thing was, like, I had to lose you. Mmm. So... <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Can't cry anymore, huh? That's funny. Ugh. That's cringy. If I could just scream uh, that word, you know? <laughs> The 
in a non cringy lame way. I had to lose Michelle as a friend. No, no, no. We never lost each other. We still continue yeah. talking. But I had to have that absence to value, to realize that you were a good friend. Mm, that makes sense. That was like our bit, our little gap we had mm -hmm. was like my aha moment. I was like, oh my god. Mm. Yeah. We've come a long way. You suck though, but yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. I love you, bitch, and I still love you. <laughs> The guy with the guitar. I love you, bitch. <laughs> I, I love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. <laughs> mm. My favorite. I love you. Don't okay. say it back. It's weird when you say it back. What? <laughs> How do you get lipstick on your chin again? I don't know. Because my lips, my bottom lip. Too luscious. Hmm. It's too luscious. Something I taught Michelle is how to love people. Huh? I started saying love you to you first. Oh yeah. She like doesn't like it's being so weird. It's she <laughs> loved. <laughs> it's so weird because I'm a hopeless romantic. Mm -hmm. But that part just doesn't come naturally to me. Why? I don't know. Which is weird because my mom was very affectionate. Mm. But maybe I'm just more like my dad. Mm. In ways that I don't want to be. You know what it is? Huh. Because the love in return is not guaranteed. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. But hey, I... I know. Like, why? Every day, all day, that she told me. <laughs> she is true love. I literally would tell Michelle, say it back. <laughs> That's very true. You hate it when I come out and be all affectionate randomly, though. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. <laughs> if you're wondering when I knew my husband was the one... <laughs> When I asked Carlos the other day, I was like, it was like yesterday. I was like, when did you know I was the one? Because like there's there's usually a moment, right? Mm -hmm. Or like a, a maybe not like a, a moment, but like a moment in time, like a memory. I read somewhere this guy said his fiance was the one when he brought her over to his apartment for the first time and the way she spoke to his dog. See, mm -hmm. it's things like that, you guys. Mm -hmm. But I asked Carlos and he was like I knew you're the one because I don't know if you know this. Mm -mm. No, you know this. I think I would tell you. I would, I would bring him lunch mm. to his work mm -hmm. every day, or I would like drop off a bag of snacks and hang it on his car before class because he would come out at five, but I had to drive all the way to Dominguez Hills. That's when he knew. They courted the shit out of each other. <laughs> it was lucky you. It was cute. But what the moment I knew Carlos was the one for me was very big. Um, it was when my sister and Chito and Sophia. I don't think I know this specifically. Oh, I never told you? I don't think so. I knew my husband was the one when my sister immigrated to the U.S. And he stepped up and no one asked him to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like he drove Sophia to school in the morning. He woke up at like 6 a.m. That's morning, so weird but... though. That's like... When you guys were like fully committed yeah, and everything. Yeah, it, uh, it was at the second apartment mm -hmm. and we had just gone ring shopping. So I knew, like I knew I wanted to marry him, but there was like this feeling where I was like, oh my God, no, this is the one. Oh, I see. It was like, I loved you. Yeah. Excuse me. Like, I love you. I want to be with you. And like, I knew you were the one, but it's like, this is, I like, I know, no, you're the one. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm, like it's guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah, he would, like, drive Sophia to school and then pick her up and then, like, help out and, like, drive my sister to, like, her doctor's appointment. Aww. And he, like, never hesitated. Like, even if I... I didn't even have to ask. Like, but even if I did ask, he'd be like, okay, he would, like, drop everything. Like, when my sister got on the wrong bus. <laughs> I did you that. I she, she was learning how to... My sister was learning how to use the bus um in america she got on the wrong freaking bus i remember that and ended up at like kicking crab on yeah. like Mr. boulevard <laughs> and he like dropped everything and we went to look for her i don't know if you guys can see it through the camera obviously how pretty i am but <clears throat> um but am i gonna cry and i don't this is gonna sound cringy and everything so please it's not really about you it's about me Oh, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> it's about the way that, no, you. Oh. It's about us. It's more of me the way I feel. Like, I don't really care if you think it's cringy, but mm -hmm. Kim and Carlos have the relationship that I dream to have. Which you will get. Um, 
no, you guys are so special. He's just lost somewhere. Like, <laughs> like, like yeah, like he's on the 91 somewhere, mom. No, no, honey. He's living in a different country right now. Why mom, are you living mom, here? do you want to do 90 Day Fiance? I know. <laughs> I don't. Not the way that I roast them. Lo loving abroad or whatever. No, absolutely not. If you do that to me, ten thousand dollars an episode. I will twenty thousand dollars an I'm episode. I'm gonna find love with money. <laughs> I'll do it though, just for the show. I think um, you'd be so good on a reality TV show. It is very so hard to date because I want what they have, and what they have is very special. Like it's just the little things. It's like the little banter. The way that I know how stubborn Carlos is, I know how stubborn Kim is, but they just make it happen. They know the right timing to let something go. Is this part of my maid of honor the, speech? No. Oh. Um, it's just they mesh so well that I don't think I've ever seen a couple and been like, okay, that's like true love. Oh. That's like what it's supposed to be. Stop. And I go around telling all of my friends, I'm like, if it's not Kim and Carlos, like, you guys are doing something wrong. Aww. Like, why aren't you guys getting each other? Because they get each other. No matter how bad they fight, they you guys get each other. It took six years. Just let y'all know. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it was, easy. It was like this at the beginning, okay? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people feel yeah. that way. But you take it from me, full honesty, Aww, that you. is really how it is. That's how I see your guys' relationship. That means a lot. We really don't show it in the vlogs. So I don't think people know. No. You can't really understand... A couple in vlog in a like a thirty minute vlog. No, not and Carlos at all. like appears once in a while. He's very private. Yeah. So and we keep so much of our lives still private because he's so private. I'm he like, is. I'm so like I feel bad. His wife is a, a YouTuber. <laughs> he's, he's like, this is our life, and he's like, I just want to. He's this so life. private. Yeah. Nah, he's a nice dude. Nah, nah. <laughs> Nah, it's not okay. Nice. No, but I I love that you guys are best friends. Mhm. Mm and he's he's so fucking nice to Michelle. You guys, if Michelle and I both do something, okay. Well, he's not gonna be mean to no, me. That's fucked up. If Michelle and I are both screaming and too loud, I get yelled at. She does not. Mom, he's not gonna openly yell at me. Friend, do you need anything? Like, bitch, I'm thirsty too. <laughs> What is wrong with you guys? I treat you both the same, Mom. You love him more. No, I don't. <laughs> you heard that? You heard that? No, but we do have a very special, like... You know that makes me nervous? Because our friendship is so tight. You think tight. that, you think that, like... Well, I mean, I don't want you to feel pressured about your who you meet. We're gonna love whoever you love. I know, but it definitely... Unless he likes the cowboys, then oh fuck. Oh yeah, know. that's not going to work for him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but like, it's hard. Because I'm like, oh, I want... We love you. I know, you always say and it to me. W you would not bring home somebody that was like a horrible person. Yeah, but I don't trust myself now because of the last one, man. The last one wasn't bad. Uh, I guess. Your last relationship was not bad. It yeah. just was not the right person. Yeah, I know. To be in the... You did not see him in the future. Yeah. But it wasn't... No, yeah. I mean, that's why I ended it. Look, props to Michelle because I could not date. My husband and I say the same thing. Oh my gosh, did you ever say the, <laughs> tell the story? What? Of like how you guys went out to eat. You guys went on date night and you did the whole... She loves to do this thing where she goes... So where do you work? <laughs> what, is it? what is the question? What, what do you do? do <laughs> I love doing like fake scenarios. So then I guess she did it to Carlos and wasn't he like, oh no, mm. like I'm not doing this ever again. Dating's hard. Something that I thought of recently. <laughs> People that are going through a divorce have to do it all over again. It's already hard going through divorce. Imagine being with someone thinking they're the one. And then you guys break up. You may have kids or maybe your significant other cheated. And like, it's just this whole emotional thing. But then after you get over that divorce hump, you gotta start dating again. Um, and some people are doing this in their 40s, mom. Yeah, I know. 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever. But it's like... No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the realization of you. No. 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 I mean, dating is hard in and, like, general. I'm semi good looking. I'm not like super pretty. Oh, here we go again. 
<laughs> so it's like, it's hard for some of It's hard out here if you're, if you're not good looking. Like, I'm a solid five. Okay. To be like, I'm average. I think it's different when you have makeup and when you don't have makeup. When I don't have makeup, I am a one. No, you're not. When I have makeup, I am like a sis. Okay, you're like a 7.5. Oh my god. Yeah. I'll when you're like it. fully up done, like done. Like a C? You think I'm a good C? Yeah, like a C plus. <sighs> I'm a C plus. I'm making a green act. I'm a C plus. <laughs> Semi good looking. The amount of crew neck ideas <laughs> that we have. Oh, my favorite is that one. You have to say it. At the five. We oh, serve. We serve the cookies at the five. Wait, no, no. At the five, we serve the cookies. <laughs> Do you know what that's from? You guys, if you don't know where that's from, come oh, on. Oh, gosh. Any more questions? Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <gasps> These are good. Oh. What is your definition of a perfect life? <gasps> perfect life. What's your dream life? My dream life? You know what we should have done when we were entering our 20s? We mm -hmm. should have wrote ourselves a letter. Should we do it now? No. Watch her when she's 40, okay? When mm -hmm. she looks at I might not be able to read when I'm 40. Okay, 40's not that old. What do you mean? <laughs> mom, if you have kids in the wait, next, like, three years. Wait, Mom, you have LASIK. Yeah. When you get older, you, will you ever get blind? Like, not blind, but you'll lose your vision as an old person? I heard you don't lose it, but I will need to wear glasses to, like, read. Oh, okay. But that's just... Bitch, because no. if we're both 80 and you got 20-20 vision still, I'm going to poke your eyes out. You had it way earlier than me, so that's not fair. I can have it, like, 10 years. After you. Man, that was so aggressive. <laughs> like, I don't know why you had to be pointing. You know what I mean, though? Yeah, whatever. Like, you had it a couple years okay. earlier than me. Okay, what's your perfect life, Jesus? <laughs> perfect life. I don't have one. Really? You, you've never imagined your, like, what your life would be perfect. In a morbid way, I used to do like it all the time. Like, with your six-penny couch, like, things like that. Oh, things like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, materialistic-wise? Okay, mom, just like Jesus. I mean, a perfect to be with you. A perfect house to me right now is like a little small house. Okay. Whether it's a condo or a townhouse. I mean, I would love to take a little mini house, but whatever. Mm. Um, with me and Clem. Not storage or man. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe Clem will have a sibling. Clem will definitely have a sibling. I'm so scared. Mom, I would never get you a dog without your permission after. You might look at me and go, but you blinked, Mom. When I said, do you want a dog? <laughs> I know, this is shit I do. Mom, on July 3rd at 1, you said you wanted a dog. <laughs> no, seriously. Just like on Friday, June 30th, I ate an edible. At 6 o'clock. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Never again? Never again. Damn it. You couldn't pay me. You would have to buy me a house. Let me freaking get it. If Watering. someone was like, I bet you a brand new house, eat an edible, it'd be like, shit, give me five. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, perfect life. She said it. It, it involves yeah. me. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> no one cares about this. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about that. Uh, no, but I know ways. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> mm. How do you feel about sharing your passwords with your partner? That's a good conversation. Hmm. I don't really know how it feels mm. to have a partner at that kind of like... Well, it's kind of like me and you. So, yeah. The only thing I can say is if it's you in the way that I trust you, then, yeah. Mm. I don't care. What are you going to take from me? Mm -hmm. But that's because I trust you. But I've never trusted another man like that. Mm. So... I'll let you know. Mm. Mm hmm. You would? I don't say I do. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You're not wrong. We don't have anything to hide. Yeah. I mean, I would hope not. Mm -mm. Right? When you're with someone. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Who is your hero, Mom? Do you have one? My mom. Same. Oh, I know no, no, so no. 
Last time we talked about mm -hmm. our moms, we mm -hmm. cried. We all know. No. We're fine. Our moms. Our moms. Mm -hmm. We're not going to talk. Dude, last time I cried so hard. <laughs> oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love our moms. Mm -hmm. What? You're like, just fuck Appa. I'm all done. <laughs> I love Appa. I do. I love Appa. He has done the most for our family. Oh my god, Appa's my dad I've never had. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love Appa. Appa is Appa though. You know what I love about Appa? Mm -hmm. He has a sweet spot for me and I can tell. He does. <laughs> I can tell. He does. I literally walk in and I'm like, Appa. All my high school friends, he's never really cared. Really? Not the way that he like cares about you, I guess. I love Appa. I think he. Oh, speaking of Appa, hmm. I forgot to give you Appa. I forgot to give you Appa's card for his birthday two months ago, or at the beginning of this month. Okay. In September, right? Yeah. That okay. First, yeah. Forgot. Sorry. <laughs> we are at the end of September. <laughs> and I went to your house like three times. <laughs> Appa, I have never been a daddy's girl. That's basically what it is. So, oh, is this my mom? Yes. I've never been a daddy's girl. Mm. I thought it was very weird that I had a dad and was never a daddy's girl. But my dad wasn't really affectionate in that way. And I think it happens with a lot of um, immigrant parents. Yeah. Because they're so busy providing. Except my brother. Oh, my God. Oh, I know. Yeah. But my brother is the way he is because he did not grow up with, with like, um, mm. close parental, you know. Mm -hmm. He really had to start being an adult at a young age. Mm -hmm. So when I see him with his kids, I'm like, I get why you're that way. I know you were talking about it last time. He loves, his kids are his world. He loves them. Mm -hmm. You can just tell. But that's how Carlos will be with his kids. I agree. Because Carlos didn't grow up with a dad. I didn't grow up with a dad. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. We ate so many veggies. Mm-hmm. I'm full. Um, what childish thing do you still enjoy? I think me and you enjoy a lot of childish things. I know. I guess for me, it's like Disneyland or but watching really? Disney movies. Oh, yeah, you do love doing that. I love watching Disney movies. I can just rewatch them over and over and over again. You do love doing that. I think it's because it just is so, like... <gasps> Mom, perfect. Hmm? Look. I'm full, though. I'll do one more. Just dip your shrimp. Oh, okay. Um, Have you ever tasted a booger? Yes. They get stuck in your molars. I wouldn't suggest it. You know who else eats boogers? I don't want to know. Jason Kelsey. <laughs> Did you know? Did he openly say that? Yes, in the show, Kel in his show Kelsey on Amazon Prime, he eats his boogers. But not now. Like and he's I never eaten them before. I love the man, but I love him even more now. They're salty. Depends on which one you get. To be honest with you, I don't know because I, don't I eat haven't the, eaten any boogers in the last, like... I don't eat the hard boogers because they get stuck in your throat. You can't swallow them. You need to move on. Move <laughs> on. And the chewy ones... And you guys wonder why I look at her a certain way? And the chewy and the chewy ones get stuck in your molars. I don't eat the slimy move ones because they have hair. Move on! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ever peed yourself? Michelle pees herself all the time. It's horrible. Do your pelvic exercise, people. <laughs> okay, we need to answer that before. Do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Extrovert. I'm an introvert, but I want to be an extrovert. I'm an introvert at heart, but I can be an extrovert. We are the same. Yep. And I love being that way. Yes. But, that, but people don't get it because in our vlogs, and like even in this mukbang, we're just so extroverted and bubbly. But I'm actually an introvert. I really like my space. I like being home. I don't like being in big crowds. Um, like being in a room with people I don't know really like make me anxious. Like mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm actually really shy. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You are. But we're the same. We are. I used to be like, when I was younger, I think I was in denial that I was an introvert. Because I wanted to be out with people all the time. Yeah. 
But the older I get, I'm like, nah. You guys, but you, I will say, you're more um, outgoing than me, mom. Because, like, I remember when we used to go to the bars and stuff in, mm -hmm. like, the early 20s, Michelle would literally have to hype me up for hours before I could talk to a boy. Yeah. But she would go up and just be like, hey, like, what's your name? Oh, I don't care. Yeah, you're... Which is surprising. Because yeah. I'm very... But then... If critical. It, but then if it comes to, like, public speaking or, Hell like... Hell no. Oh, my God, I or would like, rather die. If we have to, like, do something like that, Rem, you know, I would be like, I'll take that one. Oh, my God. Yeah. She made speeches and everything. I can't believe you did that, Mom. Oh, my God. Oh, my be. God, I did. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, Mom. Oh, my God, why did I forget about that? These what? are big things. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. She made a speech that, for her um, breast cancer. It was the National Breast Cancer Society in Costa Mesa. It was huge. Yes, I made it in front of like, I think it was like thousands of people. Were they doing like a marathon or something? It was like a marathon, yeah. Yeah. That was cool. And then I was on TV, I forgot, remember? Yeah. I, I remember that now. I forgot about it. What makes you feel accomplished? Accomplished? Yeah. Seeing the money rolling? <laughs> fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, fucking yeah. Uh -huh. The fruits of your labor. Yeah. That's my new favorite saying. Is it really? Yes, the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Of the people in this room, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to trade lives with? I guess it's you and me, baby. <laughs> okay. How would you rate your looks on a scale of one to ten? I could do better. With makeup or without makeup? I guess right now. Right now? Yeah. No, Yo, you're beautiful. You know, a lot of people say you're pretty. Mom, you are really pretty. Now that I'm getting older, I see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you think otherwise? You know you're pretty. Yes, it's because I'm fat. <laughs> No, I, okay, bullshit Mom. aside, bullshit aside. Bullshit aside, we both could lose, like, 20 pounds. Maybe, like, 40 for me. But you are pretty, Mom. Like, you got, like, like, you are just, like, it's very soft. Like, your features are very, like, um, exotic soft. Trust me. You know? Oma stole me. Oma has stole me. Yeah. I am a disappointment. No! Because I don't take care of that. My features, like I, I know that I have a great nose. Mm -hmm. I know I have brows, brows. Smile, like yeah. I've been told, I have great structures. Mm -hmm. I just like food too much. It's okay. What is life? No, but you're good. You yeah. lost so much weight. I did. Yeah, you did lose a lot of weight. I did. Yeah, for sure. Do you believe in second chance? Just yes. Mm. You know I do. No, no, no. Sometimes, bro. <laughs> Don't fuck with her. <laughs> Only the people in your circle. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on Other what you people? did. Other people? Never. Never. Okay, yeah. No, obviously second chance is for like depending on what you yeah. did. Mm -hmm. But I believe it more than you do. <laughs> you have to agree with that. You guys, I have a low bullshit tolerance. Sometimes it's worrisome. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Less stress. I know, but like, geez, you have to be so hard. You know who taught me that? that? My mom. Of course she did. It's because she's a badass. Yeah, she she she's just like, fuck them all. If you were rescuing people from a burning building and you had to leave one person behind. No, no, we're not. What? Leaving. I'm leaving myself behind. If someone offered you $1 million to break up with your significant other, would you do it? Done. Better not. I don't have anyone right now. I know, like, I thought that was me. Oh, you? No, no. sorry, no money. <laughs> Although, I just, I have a theory. If one very, very rich person mm -hmm. gave me $1 million, <laughs> they wouldn't even know it was missing from their bank account. And look how much you would be doing me a favor, you know? She says this all the time. I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying. Didn't Kelsey? Hmm? Kelsey got 30 mil? Mm-hmm. If he just gave me one mil, he would never know, you know? I'm just saying. If Taylor Swift gave you a million dollars, do you think she would know? No. Mm. That's what I'm telling you. Well, shit, give me one too. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're all asking for a mil. What's your biggest fear? Yo, since you're not doing anything. Oh, sorry. You did it. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, my biggest fear. Mm -hmm. Losing the people that I love. Mm. I think that would. Yeah. That's scary. Hmm? Losing the people you love? Yeah, as we get older, people start dying. Yeah. Like, Life is not guaranteed, you guys. Nope. And it's actually very quite scary how quick it happens. Yep. And unexpected. 
Mm, I'm not for that. I do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't think that's valid. I had a wet dream. If, a, <laughs> if money was no object, what would you buy? Like, right this instant. Like, it was not a problem? No, yeah. A, a new house? Closer to you guys? I'd still buy my parents a house first. Mm. Oh, yeah. If I was in your situation, I yeah. would. But, uh, yes, I would buy a house. Okay, closer. minus the house. Because I feel like that's always, that's always it. Okay. Like, materialistic to you, what would you want to buy, like, right now? Mine's that Swarovski necklace, man. I really want it. Sorry. <laughs> I, this is a big dream of mine, and it's, in a way, it's kind of unreachable. I don't think it'll ever happen. Excuse um, me. That's no. going to go out into the cyber world. What? You're manifesting that. Oh, it's fucking going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know how, but it's going to happen. Yeah, that's fine. But I don't know if I mentally can do it. Okay, but we don't know that. So, I would love to start a shelter for dogs, yeah. but I don't know if mentally I can do it. So, I would have to literally team up with somebody and just provide the money. But, but I would want to be there every day. But yeah, anyways, I would want to build... Okay, I'll tell you my ideas. Oh, what if someone steals it? No, it's okay. If you steal it, good for you. More room for dogs. Mm, that's true. So, I would love to build a shelter and the outside would be black or white farmhouse interior but it would be like um the front would be like uh triangle roofs mm -hmm. so it'd be one triangle one triangle and one triangle so three triangles you get the idea yeah and it's like farmhouse and it's called the ramos residence because we like love like rescuing dogs and like finding them and bring to our house oh. so we would call it the ramos residence and like in the middle would be like the front office where you enter and then on the side would be like um, like a training facility and then the other would be like shelter dogs, but they would be like an AC and then in the back would be like um, a playing field and like a water park and it would be like a no kill shelter because my intention is like if should they not find a home we would take care of them for the rest of their life. Uh, oh my god, don't even get me started. Sir. If it isn't it cute because it's, sha it's shaped like a house, like three You're houses. you really got me. If I had all the money, I would. I know. Yeah, I know. but it would be like the bougiest shelter ever. Like, as long as we have them, they'll forever be safe. And, like, it, for you to rescue them, like, we would do, like, home checks. And you would have to sign a contract. Mm -hmm. And we would do, like, visits for the next, like, three years. Like an actual, like, full adoption yeah, situation. Yeah, because, I mean, obviously, if you return that. The, uh, in the contract, it says you cannot rehome them. You would have to return them to us. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, and then my favorite part is when you walk into the main section of the house, it would have a wall of my dogs, and it would be pictures like Cooper, Casper, Rocky, and Riley, and then under would be like facts about them, because I assume they wouldn't be alive when I create this, so, so it would be like a wall full of pictures of them, and then I might make them like, like I'd be like Cooper's president, and then like, isn't that cute? I'm going to cry. Yeah. Isn't okay. that cute? Um, yeah. And then we could have like a one section could be like for like the vet. So we would like give you like discounted like um, vet care because vets are expensive. Yeah. <sighs> if I had all the money in the world. I know. But that's the, that's the point. Yeah. If money was no object, that's what she would do. Mm-hmm. Have you ever stolen anything? Mm -hmm. Thong. I stole a thong once. <laughs> what? I never told you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Thank God you're done eating. Oh my God. Ew. I never told you. No, because it made me think of Pen15. No. <laughs> was it a pink thong? No, it was red. Who? Lacey at a store. What age? How did you steal it? Maybe like 10, 12. You just, what? I snuck out. I told my mom that I was at a friend's house. Mm -hmm. And then we walked to the nearest store. Mm -hmm. And they sold like lacy bras Basic and Basic intimates? <laughs> I don't even know what store it was to be honest with you. It was so long ago. And they had this like bin. 
a clear bin uh, yeah. of underwear. And so we were going through it and she was a bad influence. My friend was a horrible influence. She was older than me. Um, and she was like, no, no, I don't think I've ever talked about her. Um, she just got married, I think. Mm. Um, but she was just like, oh, these are thongs. And I was like, what? It's like a string. And she was like, it's underwear. And I was like, what? Mm. Literally Pen 15 shit. Did you know Pen 15 stands for penis? Mm-hmm. Found that out. Anyways. Girls told us. Did she? Mm -hmm. Of course she did. Um, and it was a red lacy. Did you wear it? No. Because mm. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> well, you were like, my poop is so big. Which part is, you know? <laughs> I don't think it was that big back then, you know? Oh my god. That's funny. Yeah. And now that's all she wears. I only wear thongs. Not lacy. That's uncomfortable. Michelle only wears thongs. You know it's bad for you. So then I try to be, you know, cool as Michelle. So <laughs> then I started wearing thongs. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I ain't a thong girl. Thong thong. No. Thong thong. No. Mom, it's uncomfortable. It's kind of weird. It's because I'm super critical. I think I have a dry asshole. I, I agree. I always have to pull it out. Yeah, you're you have problems down there. I can't do thongs. It's, it's okay, mom. It's what a very about during com, uh, period week, menstrual cycle week? Um, I I you was underwear, underwear. Yeah. Um, they also make pads for thongs. <laughs> what do they look like? Yeah. They're they, they're but like you skinny at the end. But you can't wear them if you have a heavy flow. Yeah. Mm. You know I don't wear tampons anymore. I don't either. I can't tell you the last time I wore tampons. I will if I have to for some reason. I don't know why. I Yes, you're right. If I have to go to a wedding or something, like a special occasion, I will slip a tampon in. But I am very happy with a pad. Mm -hmm. It just feels more sanitary. I feel healthier. I agree. But, uh, I just don't know. Yeah. But I used to be a tampon girl like... All day, every day. Oh, me too. But I love pads. Me too. That must be age. Oh my god. You know, back to the tampons. <laughs> back to the tampons. No, mom. Okay, last They're question. actually not good for you. Oh, that's what I heard too. Whose calls do you avoid? Um, I will say I don't avoid people's calls. I usually call them back. You do. But I do not take them right away. You have to, I have to mentally prepare myself. Yeah. I'm dead. Um, I avoid your calls at night. Oh my god, you guys, this bitch will not answer my calls after 9 because she knows we'll talk for hours. But and she's, she's like, exactly. I have to go to sleep. No, bitch, you're not sleeping. You're sending me TikToks at 2 in the morning. <laughs> so in that meantime, while you're up, answer the phone. I just let's... want you to know that I love you and I thought of you when I watched the TikTok, but I don't want to talk to you because if we talk. You know that sometimes I call you and you don't answer, but then I get a TikTok and I'm, in, I'm like, I want to drive to your house and beat you up. So I have no, especially at night because we don't have shit to do. But we need a code word for emergency, like mom, answer. Well, if you texted me, I would know. Okay. Because usually she'll call and she'll be like, you're a bitch, and then she'll <laughs> let it go. She'll let it go, you know what I mean? Like, you'll just be like, fine, fuck you. Like, mm -hmm. And then you won't, you'll just leave it alone. Yeah. And then you'll let me answer in the morning. Mm -hmm. But when she really, she's like, no, right now, pick up, right now, mom, I have something to say, right now, right now. We have 30 seconds, what do you have to say? I love her. We love you so much. The camera's gonna die. Don't forget to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. We got 17 questions, 16 seconds. What do you want? One billion dollars. What? <laughs> Bye.